it's time for some Taylor Swift. Out of the vault, you're losing me is the name of the song. Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist from Reaction Therapy. And I think this is where Taylor Swift, there's something in her label and somebody had the ownership of her songs and she got through that. And now the vault, I think, is her re-releasing her music, which I love. Her voice, her stories. I can't get enough. Mental health awareness is our thing. Let's go without further ado. Taylor Swift, you're losing me. Hmm. You say I don't understand, and I say I know you don't. <laughs> this is a very simple start there. It's like, I don't understand. And she's like, I know you don't. I get that. Something about relationships. I know a lot of people have different things to say about Taylor Swift. She really does an amazing job of storytelling and her voice, the way she sings. I love it. I know you don't. <clears throat> we thought a cure would come through in time. Now I fear. Oh, won't. no. This room, we loved it because of the light. Now I just sit in the dark and wonder if it's time. Mm. Do I throw out everything we built or keep it? I'm getting Our tired, choice. even for a phoenix, always rising from the ashes, mending all her guys. just contemplating a relationship talking about a phoenix rising from the ashes you know even for me it's gonna be hard to get through this it's exhausting what do i do i always tell couples <laughs> please communicate before you leave please communicate before you cheat because cheating is not good number one i'm not even applying it to this but i always tell people don't cheat leave somebody before you cheat because it's way cleaner and you have way less baggage. But secondly, when you're miserable or ready to break up or leave a relationship, even a marriage, please communicate that ahead of time and do it in a way that remembers why you got together to begin with. And I don't want this to end. And I'm scared it's going to end. And I'm watching this relationship disintegrate. And I want you to know, I want to love you more. I want to care more. I want to be plugged in more. And I'm not. So I'm trying to let you know rather than just saying, yeah, I kind of, I'm done. I want you to communicate ahead of time. Gosh, you might just have dealt the final blow. Oh no. Star, you're losing me. Star, you're losing me. Hmm. Star, yep. you're losing me. I can't find a pulse. My heart won't start anymore. kind of cool there how it was like a heartbeat you know losing pulse just a heart rate was that was a pretty cool sound effect every morning i glared at you with storms in my eyes mm. how can you say that you love someone you can't tell is dying Wow, that's powerful, y'all. Oh my gosh. How can you say you love someone you can't even tell is dying? Just that statement right there. Can you remember that for a second? If you ever felt totally misunderstood or not heard or seen at all in a relationship, how can you say you love someone that you can't even tell is dying? Like I'm crumbling here. And that's that's the the misfiring, not communicating and not really seeing. Number one, you seeing what's going on with the other person, but number two, you hearing it from them. Wow. Yep. I know my pain is such an imposition. 
I just want you to hear the message behind what's being said here. You know, I know my pain's in a position. I'm gray. You can't see the coloring in me, how I'm just kind of fading away and you're losing me. And I know it's inconvenient and I know it's something you don't like and I know you're kind of just ignoring it. But um, you know what they all say? You never know what you got till it's gone. And it's really true. So when couples get in my office where marriages are falling apart, I always tell them, look, uh, it's way worse on the other side than it is this side. Trying to end a marriage, trying to divorce, trying to do whatever. It's horrible. And two people always got together for a reason. And there are some times I've told people, y'all need to be apart and gone and separated, divorced, all of that. I have said that before. But most of the time, it's getting over ourselves and saying, I need to work on me. I need to make me better so that I can be a better husband or a better wife to my spouse. But, or my girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. I need to be a better person. So work on you. But wow, you don't want to look back later and regret for sure. I have got to go back with that. What a story there. Oh, man. Gave you all my best me's, my endless empathy. And all I did was bleed and tried to be a brave soldier. Tried to be brave. Fighting in only your army. Gosh, on the front lines. Mm. I'm the best thing at this party. I wouldn't marry me either. I'm a pathological people. Just codependent. It's just such a cool way she did this. And I wouldn't marry me either. A pathological people pleaser. Who only wanted you to see her. And I'm fading thinking. Do something, babe. Say yep. something. Yep. Taylor Swift, you're losing me from the vault. I just love hearing her voice, her music. I do love the stories because, you know, as a mental health professional, I see these stories in real life. And I see people in relationships that are trying to communicate and don't get the message across. And then also some that haven't communicated this and they feel this all along. So please get help. That's what therapy's for. But remember, this isn't real therapy. It's just Tom Breaking Down Lyrics. If you want help, check the link in the description and give us your comments. Let me know what you think about this. What's the story behind it? And what do we do next in the vault? I want to go through the vault. Mental health matters. Yours does too. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.